Thank you very much for checking out the Men in Nutrition video series. We're going to release all the individual snippets in piecemeal fashion. Today we're going to feature David Grotto. Let's show some love to the individual by liking, commenting, sharing, and connecting via social media with each individual. I'm also on the platform Buy Me A Coffee. This is a platform that allows creators like myself to create content and get rewarded in a variety of payments. I've decided to do it via coffee. So if you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can do so. And if you want to send one to the uh, individual I'm interviewing, send it to me and I will send it their way. With that being said, thank you very much for being here with us today. I hope you really enjoy the video and have a wonderful rest of your day. Hi everyone, my name is Dave Grotto. I'm a registered dietitian. Couldn't resist. I reside in the Chicagoland area and I have been a registered dietitian for over three decades. I know it's hard to believe, it's like the oil of Olay is working. Uh, anyhow, seriously, I became a registered dietitian, um, which was not my first choice of a career path. In fact, I wanted to be a rock and roll star, played in the band in my early 20s. Um, and at the same time, ran and managed uh, my parents' health food store. So I um, thought that was kind of cool, and a lot of people were trying out things like whole grains and organic foods and uh, vegetarian stuff, kind of long before it was popular today. And uh, really long story short, uh, the reason I became a dietitian is I didn't want to kill any of my customers. Sounds a little harsh, but true story. Gentleman came in, said that he was diagnosed with high blood pressure, wanted to know if sea salt was a good choice for him, and me not being a registered dietitian said, of course, anything natural is perfectly okay. He naturally had a hypertensive episode, wound up in the emergency room. Luckily for him and I, he lived to tell about it. Came back, pointed a finger at me on one of our busiest day in the health food store, and he said, you, sir, are a dangerous man. So he said, the dietitian I talked to at the hospital said, you should probably go back to school and become a dietitian. And guess what? That's exactly what I did. And luckily, uh, I'm helping people instead of hindering their progress toward wealth. So the question is, what sh am I doing now? I am working for Kellogg Company, uh, which many of you may know as a uh, cereal brand, uh, but it's also uh, what I call a house of brands. It's Morningstar Farms, it's Kashi, it's Pringles, it's Cheez-It, it's uh, RX Bar. I mean, so everything from better for you to indulgent. And uh, that's really kind of a unique position for a registered dietitian because I get to talk about, um, which is uh, certainly aligned with my own personal philosophy or credo, if you will, around nutrition, is about meeting people where they live and showing them how to enjoy their favorite foods uh, but making that work in an overall healthy meal pattern. Um, so I get to do lots of great things. I get to work with people who work in the K through 12 um, sector. I get to work with commercial restaurants and retailers. Um, I get to work with policy makers. Uh, it's, it's really a great, wonderful thing. So I get to talk about um, favorite brands uh, that I consume and other people consume and showing them uh, not only how to feed them in the diet, but also working with the company itself to be on a path to improve uh, the nutrition credentials of the foods that we sell. So why do I feel that there should be more men in the profession of nutrition and dietetics, so food and dietetics? Uh, interestingly enough, when I became a dietitian back in the early or mid 1980s, boy, been around for a while. Uh, uh, I was not aware that dietitians were primarily female. Uh, no idea. Uh, as I mentioned, I worked in the natural food industry and I just had an interest in nutrition, saw a lot of people in that industry, a lot of men in it, uh, that were talking about nutrition, though they had perhaps no right to talk about it because they weren't credentialed. Um, anyhow, long story short, I literally showed up for the first day of school University of Illinois in Chicago and their dietetics program and uh, was somewhat bewildered to find that I was the only male in the program. Me and 16 women uh, made up that graduating class. Um, so 
I, I obviously as the direction of our profession is about more inclusivity and diversity, uh, which is a great thing. Uh, that's got to be beyond just ethnicity, but it's also got to represent gender. The list goes on. So it's a good thing to have our profession be a mirror of the public that we serve, right? So um, more the better, more diverse the better. Our profession will only grow and become better and more relevant as we look at our competition, uh, who is out there more than happy to answer the call. Okay, and last but not least, a tip for the guys. What can you do to take the best care of yourself is by making yourself a priority in your own life. Boom, hit you right out of the block with that one. That's the hardest thing to do because our DNA is not quite wired that way. Um, but think about it. You can't take care of the others that you love in your life unless you are in good shape. So you're not being selfish by making yourself a priority by setting aside time for sleep, exercise and eating correctly is really sharing your love with others. Maybe use that with your partner next time when you say, hey, I, I would love to uh, clean up the house, but I gotta go work out. Yeah, uh, don't let me get in between you and your partner. But anyhow, lastly, uh, pick one thing that you can do that's literally low hanging fruit. Uh, speaking of fruits and vegetables, adding one more serving a day probably out of all the things you can do from a lifestyle perspective is going to have the most bang for the buck anyhow. So more fruits and vegetables, no downside to that. And third and last tip, don't be too hard on yourself. Go easy on yourself. You deserve it.